Okay, now that I've shown you guys the gallery wrap, I wanted to show you a really cool thing that Ben Wilmore has done. He's, he's automated the gallery wrap where we do hundreds of gallery wraps a day and it is so time consuming to go back into Photoshop and do this mirroring and he's come up with some other ideas. So this automated gallery wrap is available by Ben Wilmore and it's available at ivamaui.com forward slash Binsky because we call it the Binsky wrap. So let me show you this wrap. This is a, just a totally cool thing. I'm going to show you first the, the, the mirror wrap. We have an image opened. We're going to go to our actions and we're going to go to Bin now has version 1.3 out and it comes in either a 1 inch mirror, a 2 inch mirror, or a 3 inch mirror. The majority of the mirrors that we do are 3 inch. So I'm going to go to the Binsky wrap 3 inch version 1.3 click on that action and hit play. It's going to ask you what dimension do you want that image to be? What do you want your finished canvas size, the face of your canvas to be? And you hit OK and bam, bam, bam. It's uh, doing the mirror total automated thing. The cool thing about this story is that Ben came over and saw how many times we were doing these uh, these wraps and he saw how time consuming it was for us and I tried to write an action and the action was totally dependent on resolution size and image size. And so Ben, he locked himself in the room for three days and he didn't come out till he had it. And look what this thing did. Here is, here is our three inch mirror all the way around and it was done that simple and that quick. Now besides doing the mirror, he's also given us a, not only a 3 inch mirror, but he's also given us a, a 1 inch. If you only want 1 inch to be mirrored, or 2 inch, or 3 inch. All those are available now. And then he's also given us the same thing in a spin, zoom, blur, and a border. And I'll show you where that is really effective. An image such as this image here, when you do the if you did a mirror of this one, let's just do the mirror so you can see what I'm talking about. If you do the mirror of this one, let's just make this a, a 7 by 12. When we do the mirror of this one, what happens is when you have people in, in people close to the edges, it looks funny to have them mirrored on the edges, as you're going to see here in the completion of this one. Okay, let me zoom that down a little bit. See how that how the mirror looks funny to have people close to the edge? See what I'm talking about? That this looks weird to have that happen. Okay, the other type of action that Ben's done for us is he's done a spin. A spin. A spin's gonna bring up the spin dialogue window. And we can choose how much spin to put on it. He's also done one that's a zoom, so it's zooming out from the edge. But let me show you what the spin looks like. Oh, so here's the spin. This line right here is the edge of your stretcher bar. And then your edges will have the spin on it. Now let's just go try another one, and I'll show you guys the zoom. Let me go back up into history here. Back up to this image. Okay, then we're going to go back into our actions. And we're going to go to a zoom this time. B both the zoom and the, sp and the spin I use on occasions. They're not as used and they're not as popular as the mirror wrap, but they're still really effective tools for different situations. So you have the amount of how much to make your zoom. And that's kind of a cool one too. And if you can imagine these edges being this being the edge, so that works really well. It is a little bit more critical because this has to be right on the bar when you're doing the actual stretch. Okay, so now I'd like to show you guys the blur. Okay, so now let's go back to our actions and we're going to go to the blur and it's going to bring up the Gaussian blur dialog and we have the choice of how much to blur that edge and you can see right where the edge of the print would be and how much blur so you have the choice of totally blurring it out or just a little bit of a blur out and it's actually did a mirror it did a mirror but it's blurring it so you can blur that enough that you don't see the the people or the outline which right there would probably be a good a good example for that image 
And I'm going to show you the border. The border is wonderful because you can put different colored borders, a different line around the borders. You can make the borders be on the edges or make it be on the front of the canvas. So now let's take a look at the Binsky wrap borders. The first tool it brings up is our layer style, which allows us to change the color of this border, change the width of this line. And right now we have it, we have it filled as white, but we can go make that be any color that we want. So isn't that great? And then once we do layer style, it also lets us change the color of the background. We can pick the color of that background. We can make it any color we want. So this is a totally cool feature. This the bordered feature, okay? Now what you can do now is you can make the fold happen here and this line's in the side, or what we normally do is we make the fold outside the white trim line. We usually have this be a white trim line. You can make it anything you want and make the fold be outside. So there's your complete listing of the Binsky wrap, okay? Comes in a one inch, two inch, three inch version, lets you do the traditional mirror, which is the most popular, a spin and a zoom, a blur and a border. Great tool, real time savings.